Hey guys, this is James Wilson with BJJ Strength Training Systems and BJJStrengthTraining.com. And today I want to share a great exercise with a funny name called the Bulgarian Goat Bag Swing. And this is an exercise that I got from a guy named Dan John. And Dan says he likes to give exercises that he makes up funny names so he knows when people are ripping him off. So I'm definitely not ripping Dan off, just sharing some of the stuff that I've learned from him. So anyways, this is a great exercise to really work on your bridge. And something that a lot of people struggle with is learning how to bridge from the hips and not the lower back. We don't want to rely on the lower back to drive movement. We want the hips to drive movement. And the better you can do that, the stronger your bridges are going to be and the better you're going to be able to disrupt your opponent's weight and center of gravity and balance with your bridging. So I'll show you how this exercise works. What you're going to do is you're going to get you a kettlebell, you're going to grab it by the horns like so and turn it in towards you. You want to get the bottom of it so that you're pushing in on your stomach here. So right below the solar plexus, you got punched here, you get all the breath knocked out of you. You want to be just below that and pulling in. You'll feel how that forces you to get your abs tight and how it gets your upper back tight from pulling the kettlebell in. From this position here, I got my feet set about shoulder width apart. I'm just going to push my butt back behind my heels and let my shoulders come down and then I'm going to squeeze my butt cheeks and get tall and thin at the top. Do not lean back. Butt goes back, squeeze my butt cheeks tall and thin at the top. Butt goes back, squeeze my butt cheeks tall and thin at the top. So again, it's a pretty straightforward exercise. If you're not keeping the, your upper back strong, you're not keeping this strong as you come down, the kettlebell is going to tilt and start to get away from you. If you're keeping that strong, then it's going to keep your core strong, it's going to keep your upper back strong, and that's going to take care of a lot of the rounding and lower back stuff that happens when people try to practice their uh, deadlifts and swings and, and other exercises that look similar to this movement here. And then again, when you're on the mat and you're on the ground trying to bridge, being able to bridge and keep this strong is much more effective than just trying to like push the belly button up and this isn't where you're driving from. You see that all the time where people are bridging and you still see a bend right here. This is not locked out. So you know that they're leaving some of their hip, their, you know, bridge, you know, some of their bridge potential uh, on the mat literally by not getting their hips all the way through and into it. So make sure that you're practicing that when you're training because that's what you're going to do when you roll. And so again, th this exercise here will really help dial that in. And also again, like I said, anytime you're doing your deadlifts or your swings, you want to be practicing the same thing. So if you struggle with those exercises, you tend to do something that looks more like this when you deadlift or you do your swings instead of really being able to get the hips back and work this movement here, then use this Bulgarian goat back swing to help get that hip hinge grooved so you can be practicing the right movements with those exercises. Because remember, we're practicing movements that we want to use on the mat, not just trying to work ourselves out in some way and hope that that fitness transfers over to the mat. There's much more effective ways to do it if we're practicing movement. So uh, again, Bulgarian goat back swing, funny name really help you out on the mat, get your bridge a lot stronger with that exercise. So once again, this has been James Wilson with BJJ Strength Training Systems. Be sure and check me out on the web at bjjstrengthtraining.com where I've got a free 30-day bodyweight workout you can sign up for, and I'll talk to you in my next training tip.